What's going on guys? TTL here. Today I'm going to be going over my top two picks for NBA today. Today is Sunday. It is currently January 7th, 2024. I do appreciate all you guys supporting me. Make sure you're hitting that thumbs up button, leaving a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button guys. Uh, definitely wanting to get 16,000 subscribers by the end of the month. Currently at over 15,800. So should be pretty easy for us to do. So just make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Let's go 2 and 0 today. Loving both of these picks on prize picks. And guys, if you want to sign up to Patreon, it's only $20 a month. I have slips for every single app. We do sports book bets. I do correlated slips for NFL, NHL, college football, soccer, pretty much anything you can ask for. Um, and we've been crushing those, by the way. Um, these six picks are going crazy. So uh, I'm going to go over that in just a second. But guys, make sure you go sign up to the Patreon. It's only $20 a month. And if you want a free week, sign up to Underdog, Sleeper, or Chalkboard. Using code TTL, you'll get a 100% deposit match up to $100 and a week free of VIP for each one you do. For better, B-E-T-R, better, you can sign up using code TTLDFS. You'll get a deposit match up to $500 and you get the same thing. You get a week for free. But um, really, really recommend it, guys. Um, these correlated slips have been going crazy. So this was, uh, I had three that I posted for NHL yesterday, four total for NHL yesterday. One was a 0.4 X and then all three others were a double up that barely missed. So this is an example of a double up. Um, uh, this player, Eichel was the only one that went over. Um, we had less than four. He got five. Okay. That happens. Unfortunate. This one. Um, Marchenko was a push. We really thought this was going to be a 10x, though. I believe this is the one that went to overtime. One of these went to overtime. I believe it was this one. And then uh, Fantilli, unfortunately, got four. We had under two and a half. Still a double up, though. We love that. And then our last slip, only uh, Lindholm. Lindholm. We had under two and a half. He had three. Very unfortunate, again. But we've been killing it, guys. We've already hit a 20x. Um, we're due to 25x. But even without it, we're doubling up consistently on these NHL. Um, today's NFL Sunday. So today would be the day, guys. I have around eight or nine correlated slips sent out in VIP already, um, as well as some NBA, which is what I'm going to be going over in today's video. But highly recommend that, guys. And um, just get good signed up that Patreon. Join the Discord. You'll get VIP access to every single app. But let's get into it, guys. I do appreciate all your support yet again. Again, it's only going to be my top two picks. And for the research today, we're going to be using outlier.bet. You can use my link for a free week in the pinned comment or DG Fantasy, where you can use code LIMIT for 25% off your first month. One of our top plays, we're going to go to uh, DG Fantasy using code LIMIT yet again. We're going to click DFS Optimizer up here. We're going to change this to just NBA, and we're looking at prize picks specifically. And we can see John ja Morant points and rebounds over 30 and a half. And we're going to actually take a look at this play. But this is what I do for every single one of my props. I don't just use DG Fantasy and just look at that. I do like having outlier because I like judging things not just based off of odds, which is what DG Fantasy is. And that's fine, by the way. But I also like looking at the stats behind it. As far as DG Fantasy though, you can use their DFS correlation tool and that helps you build those five picks, those six picks that are correlated slips as well. Now that is a little bit more expensive. I think it's 200 or 250 a month, but you do get full five picks and six picks um, that are correlated. So that does help you out as well. Again, code limit does get you 25% off on that as well. So if you wanna use that in. But John Morant over 30 and a half, we can see this is minus 142 according to DGF with a 54% odds to hit. On every single sports book, this is at 31 and a half. Um, when we look at it on, um, on Outlier, we can actually see this is at 31 and a half, over 31 and a half right here. So when we click it, we're gonna change this to 29 and a half just because it's technically 30 and a half, but they don't have that option. But we can see even without it being 30 and a half, it's the same numbers. So he would have hit here. Um, but I do think this is going to get bumped to 31 and a half just because that's where it is everywhere else. He's cast this in five of nine games this year. We can see the Suns points and rebounds defense. They're 14th in points allowed, first in rebounds allowed. They don't allow rebounds. But to point guards, they are 20th in points allowed and 14th in rebounds allowed. 
but really loving that. We can see John Morant is shooting 19 field goal attempts per game this year. Absolutely love seeing that. 19 times is crazy with six three-pointers. And he's also getting seven free throws per game and an average of five or six rebounds. So we can take a look at his points prop, 25 and a half. Take a look at his rebound prop, five and a half. So if you put those together, that's 31. We're already getting some value at the 30.5 line at the uh, points and rebounds. So loving this value that we're getting at 30 and a half. And just to show you that it is 30 and a half, 30 and a half points and rebounds. We're going to take the more. We're taking the over on this prop. Second is actually another prop that I found from DGF, and I love this one a lot more, even than John ja Morant. I like this one even more than John ja Morant, and this one is Nick Claxton under 13 and a half rebounds and assists. Now, yet again, guys, I find the props on DG Fantasy, but I do like doing more in-depth research on the matchup, the stats behind it, and making sure that everything is validated for the pick. Now, we can see this is at 12 and a half on FanDuel, 13 and a half elsewhere. We can see on Fliff, it's minus 150. On BetMGM, it's minus 140. On DraftKings, it's minus 135. And that's what we're getting on prize picks or underdog is minus 135. Um... But we'll take a look, Claxton. We can see he's at 13 and a half here. We'll take the under. I do think this one will be bumped as well. Probably not a full point, um, but it'll probably be 13 whenever you see this video, unless you get to it immediately. Um, I would still take Claxton at 13. I would still take Morant at 31. I would not take Morant at 31 and a half. I would not take Claxton at 12 and a half. The value is just not there. But let's take a look at Claxton on Outlier and let's get into why we like this. The under 13 and a half right here, minus 135, minus 140, as we saw on DGF. Over his last 10, he's went under this in six of his last 10. In 2023, he's went under this in 17 of 26 games, 65% of games. And we can see Portland's rebounds and assist defense. They allow a ton of rebounds. They allow quite a bit of assist. Versus centers, it's way better. They are ninth in rebounds allowed, 11th in assists allowed, compared to their 24th in rebounds, 19th in assists. So they're much better rebounding uh, defense, much better assist defense compared to uh, against centers. And we can also see he's playing 28 minutes a game. He's averaging 10 rebounds. Um, and we can see between like zero, really, like zero and like four or five assists typically. Um, definitely loving this line today. Um, we can take a look at games without player. No one really is out except for Ben Simmons, and he doesn't really have an effect on his rebounds or his assist, really. Um, we can take a look at the home games. 8 of 13, he stayed under. I don't think there's going to be an issue at all. The Nets are also 9-point favorites, so they could always be in a blowout here. Um, there's been a ton of blowouts this season, actually, so we'll have to watch and find out. There's been two-point spreads that are massive blowouts. It happens. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching guys. I do appreciate it. Go join that VIP. I'm going to have like eight or nine NFL slips. I'm going to have probably seven or eight NBA slips. There's just a giant board of plays right now. And I highly recommend it guys. Um, or again, you can sign up to any of those websites using my codes, get the deposit match and get a free week of VIP for each one. But thank you guys so much for uh, watching the video guys. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.